Alright, what's up, people? This ain't really RC related, but uh, I figure I'll show you anyway. I gotta change the starter and the truck, my Nissan Titan. And uh, it's been acting up, and I've been kind of waiting. It's cold out here, you know, I don't feel like doing this, but I need my truck, baby, you know what I mean? So, the problem with this thing is is underneath the intake manifold they put this starter in a like really bad spot so you gotta it's not a hard job but it's cumbersome because you gotta take out all this to get to the intake manifold so got the starter and place that you're gonna need this too you're gonna need this um this is a fuel line disconnect because the fuel line in there you gotta disconnect that and uh, some more intake gaskets. I need, of course, your starter. This makes life a little easier, people. Power Ratchet, Milwaukee. This thing is great, people. So, um, you know, you gotta disconnect the battery, but don't do it yet. Cause you gotta, the line, the fuel line I gotta uh, take off. I have to uh, pull the um, uh, fuel pump. Uh, fuse because I got to bleed off the pressure so leave the battery hooked up then uh, you pull the um, fuel pump fuse and start the engine up bleed the pressure off then then take the battery out it's cold out here people so I don't know if I'm gonna be having the camera all mounted up I don't think I'm gonna be doing the AMC theater camera thing I'll show y'all you know time to time but I'm trying to get this thing done all right so once let me get moving get this stuff together i'll be back getting there pretty good got all the um lines disconnected this is the uh transmission um dipstick gotta move that out 10 millimeter bolt move that away and these lines here gotta take out not take them out but disconnect them these things was hard as hell you know what i mean they was hard as hell let me tell you something, people. This right here, your best friend. These long, curved needle noses. Yeah, works good. Especially when you have to disconnect. You have to disconnect all these um, injectors, injector connectors. There's four on this side. One is all the way back there. It's crazy. And four on that side. Got that all out. Brake booster line. Let me see if I can get up in here, man. Get y'all in there good, tight. That right here this brake booster line you gotta take that off because that runs you see on the back of the intake manifold so i just took it off there that way when i pull all this out it's gone it's out so gotta do all that uh you see these um these are uh cooler lines you gotta take these off you're gonna lose a little bit of antifreeze but ain't no big deal no big deal at all all right uh, let me show y'all all right so I'm getting ready to pull fuse pump fuse which is right here 15 amp pull that fuse and if you look here that's sun killing me all right 15 amp see it fuel pump 15 amp right there get ready to pull that crank the engine over a little bit so I can um, disconnect that uh fuel line and uh, bleed that pressure off so I can disconnect it I'm gonna show y'all uh, hold on I'll be right back alright people I gotta make a correction right here's the fuel line I was talking about disconnecting right there right the fuel line and uh, it goes right there I had the wrong tool I had to go get the right tool but this one didn't work. This one didn't work. Had to go get this one. Um, 5 sixteenths to got slip it in there, pop it out. This damn thing. But uh pulled the fuel pump fuse, disconnected the negative. Had to do a little bit of pry bar action to uh lift the manifold up. You see that? And that comes all out 
Now, people, before you take this off, right, blow all this out because it'd it be like dirt, bees, nests, everything in there, you know what I mean? You're going to get all that disconnected. Um, but, yeah, she ready to come on out, see it? All right, I'm going to get it out, and I'll show you all the starter, finally. All right, people, got it off. That's the starter right there, right? These signs should be shot for this design. But now I gotta get these two bolts. Let me see if I can zoom in there for oh, y'all. There's two bolts here. Boom, boom. I just sprayed them down with some uh, PB Blaster. This stuff here. I've had good success with this right here. Uh, people, you know, when you take your intake manifold off, stuff something down in the intakes. That way, you no know, dirt tools bolts drop down in there I gotta get to these bolts from the back there so we're getting there that's the uh, intake manifold I'm glad this thing came off carburetor fuel rail and uh, she came off pretty good you know gaskets that I gotta change put new gaskets in this thing So, it's getting there, people. I'm gonna let that sit and soak for a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. This thing got really crazy. You see the starter? People, I almost was trading this truck in. Look at that. The damn thing was seized in the housing, right? Let me show y'all. Man. People, this was frustrating as hell. These sign, I ought to sue you bastards. All right, you see that? Wait, let me, let me get in there. All right, right. It was seized in here and it broke off. It was stuck all in there. I had the bolts off, but it was stuck all in there. Seized in there, just seized. And um, I ended up having to kind of take the whole damn starter apart break it apart in there I had to grind out some of it then it it finally moved you see the housing people oh shit see it right it was stuck in there seized up and then I banged it and it broke off in there it was dang yo it was crazy and um, I ended up taking it apart because I thought maybe the amateur that amateur whatever that thing is was stuck but it wasn't it just this thing was just seized in there it was just seized all up in there man oh my goodness but i ended up banging it out and it came out Whew, people let me tell you something if i couldn't get this out this truck was gone i was going to get it towed to wherever and i was getting a new truck peace I was out. It's frustrating as hell, but I did get it out. I've been out in this cold all day. All right, let me get this one together here. I got to move this wires and stuff over, people. But let me tell you something. I'm going to coat so much anti seeds on this thing, it ain't even funny. I had to use this. Get the bolts out. This is a ball swivel. They're better than them universal swivels. Use the, uh, this is a half inch. Got it on there. And, uh... Because they had them so tight, I had to put a pole on there. And it was so tight, close in there. But I did get it. I did get it. Whew. All right, people. Let me get busy because it's cold out here. But I did get that puppy. I did get it. All right. All this for a damn starter. All right. The new starter in. You can see that. Yeah. Yeah, got the new starter in there. And I ended up messing this connector up. Where, uh, the clip broke. But it still works. It's just that it'll come out. So, that right there. Hopefully I can see that. Alright, see that? Yeah, that's it. Put some safety wire on there. Tie it there. And that's what you call a pigtail. You do that so that the next guy that 
go in there. You don't get all scratched up or whatever. All right. Then it comes in handy. It's just regular old aircraft uh, safety wire. This is 32 gauge. I got all the gauges. Um, but I just use 32. It's lock wire. Safety wire, lock wire. And, uh, you use, use them. What do they got? I can't find my twist pliers. Oh, here they go. Use these here. Lock it. Then this comes out like that. And it spins. Twists the wire up. They call safety wire pliers. Lock wire pliers. Whatever you want to call it. It's an aviation thing mostly. I think they use this in NASCAR too. Alright. Alright people. It's back together. I ain't even filmed it. Put the, putting it back together was easy and simple. Push it back together. Good to go. Let me uh start it up here. Real quick. <clears throat> Make sure we ain't got no lights or anything up in this drink. Here we go, baby. Cool. No lights. Sweet. Alright, she's good to go, people. Good to go. No leaks. Cool. Alright. There you go, people. This is your man Raj 111. Doing a little bit of maintenance on the RC vehicle. Good to go, baby. Good to go. See y'all on the next one.